Stephen Monkey Mason and welcome to Fast Forward Reviews. The movie is Fortress. It's an action. It's a crime film. Crime does not pay. It's a sci-fi, sort of. And it's a thriller. The year, 1992. It's on for 1 hour and 35 minutes. Directed by Stuart Gordon. Starring Christopher Lambert. Kurtwood Smith. Kurtwood Smith. And Jeffrey Combs. It is and always will be an 18. I get the why it's an 18 soon. Tagline for this movie a futuristic prison, a high tech hell, built to withstand anything except an innocent man. Its budget, £8 million. £8 million. So, a little bit about this movie. The year is 2017. Christopher Lambert and his wife are arrested for trying to have a second child. Christopher Lambert gets 32 years for this mistake in his life. They are both sent to what is known as the Fortress, which is a 30 story prison underground. It's very high tech. And it's also meant to be impossible to escape. Christopher Lambert and a few of her inmates try to break out and that's pretty much where this movie goes. Fun facts about the movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger was meant to play the lead role right until the last minute till he went off to do Last Action Hero. And another fun fact about the movie, there is a sequel called Fortress 2 Re-Entry, which is pretty much the same film in space with Christopher Lambert. So what did I think about this movie? This is an 80s B-movie classic. It's not an 80s film, it's a 90s film. What a mistake, it's a, it's a 90s film. It's brutal, it's very bloody. It has a very harsh, futuristic prison life going on in this. The cast is great, the casting of this movie is fantastic. The movie looks more than £8 million in budget. For a 90s film, it is absolutely stunning. The idea for the prison in the future is really good, but since it's 2017 next year, it's a little bit far-fetched. They're about 20 years out. This is one of Christopher Lambert's best films. And it's definitely better than Highlander too. Fans of Reanimator should definitely check this out. Same director and it also stars Jeffrey Coombs in a mint supporting role. So how many concert bricks do I rate this out of five? I give this a four. One, two, three, four. Because it's a classic B movie. I've done it again. It's a 90s film. Should you own it, if you can. I had to watch it on VHS the other night. It's discontinued on DVD, so is its sequel, re-entry. Should you watch it, definitely check it out if you get the chance. I've been Steve Monkey Mason. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. It's budget. Eight million pound. Eight million pound. Again, going back to the whole uh, no escape. I checked, you know. I checked that, and IMDb says no escape costs five million pounds to make. I cannot believe that. Unreal.